Hey friends, we're in Benazette, Pennsylvania today. We brought our saddle mules and we're gonna ride up here in the mountains. It's absolutely gorgeous. One of the first things that we, we do when we come camping with the, the mules is we have to set a high line up and most of the subscribers are farmers and you're gonna you're asking yourself what does a high line have to do with me well there's a lot of essential knots that we use on a daily basis on the farm that is used in in setting a high line uh, we have the bow line we have the slip release half hitch, we have the half hitch, we have the Dutchman, create our high line for our horses and I'm going to show you briefly or a quick way of tying these knots. Uh, they're not too difficult but you, some of them you do need to use on a daily basis if you're going to learn how to tie them but we use them quite regularly on the farm and there's a lot of multi uses you know what farm doesn't have farmer duct tape you know uh, baler twine we have lots and lots and thousands of feet of baler twine and if we know how to tie these knots we can utilize a lot of that baler twine for our everyday uses to set our high line we don't use anything fancy we use two cinches the cinches are used to keep from girdling the trees um, if you're in national forest, it's, re it's required that you use some sort of a cinch or seat belt or uh, tree saver straps to keep from your high line girdling the trees. So we're just going to take a we're going to take a cinch. We try to keep our high line seven feet or higher. We use a cinch on the tree to save the tree. We practice the no trace rule. Our first knot will be a bowline. You make a loop. Your working end of the rope has to be on the back part of the loop, pointing down. We bring our tag end up through, around the working end, and back through the loop towards the tag end no matter how hard you pull that knot you can still release it or get it untied you just pull this back loosen it up a little bit pull it all apart it just drops apart it's a very easy multi-purpose knot but we'll tie that knot up here on our high line Again, that's your bowline line knot. To tie the high line knot, you make three loops. Okay. Pull this one over. Pull this one over, around, and back through. We have four animals with us today, so that's what we'll be using is four high line knots. Seven feet in between them. Again, over the hand, over the hand three times. Pull this one over, pull this one over and through. This is a knot that I really have a hard time remembering because I don't use it on a daily basis. Three of them in there. We choose not to use any hardware for whenever we're setting our high lines. I know a lot of folks uh, really like uh, some of the some of the butterfly brackets and whatnot. I prefer to go old school because I have a really bad habit of losing things so we just go old school and it's one less thing that I'll forget whenever we go camping
We're going to tie a Dutchman knot. Just loop it two or three times, pull it up through. And what that does is it helps keep that knot from pulling too tight so you can get it to release. See how it looks there. So you can see we have our second cinch up there to keep from girdling that tree. Okay, we need to tie a quick release half hitch. Just basically go around with your tag end and come back through the loop. And we want to take a bite around both ropes and then to tie it off we'll do a, a couple of half hitches this will lock the knot into place and it won't come on undone until we want it tie the sh double sheets bend we like to keep our lead rope about a foot off the ground. We take the double, sh take our tag end up through our loop. Take it up through our loop around our loop, around our loop, and pull it tight. That knot is very, very useful. That knot is very useful in joining two ropes together. Specifically, you can join pretty much any size rope together, but it really works well to join two different size ropes together and you can pull pretty tight on that rope and you can still get it get it freed up and, and loosened up unlike the square knot i use the square knot a lot to join two pieces of rope also and it's very difficult to get loose but this here knot if we take that little loop there and feed that up all, over there feed our working end out it just loosens up and we're good to go Okay, get me some more mules. Mm -hmm.